Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and I welcome you to my walkthrough of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG, the final chapter. I left a poll last year at the end of my play of the demo, leaving it to those who wanted to vote which route I would take in this chapter. 55 people voted, which definitely beat my expectation of two dozen tops. Anyway, the route chosen, with 58% of the vote, was take Alice as companion at the game's start and then proceed down the Demon World route. So, here we go. First of all, interestingly, I get a bunch of godkiller seals. It has to do with the companions I got a bunch of items from or something. A lot of them. Like a lot, a lot of them. Not that there aren't going to be any use. So let's get going. The confrontation won't be any different from the demo for a while, so let's skip dialogue. Well, you we saw Alice before confirming when I came in here, so all I need to do is pick Demon Root. I'd like to say something entertaining here, but I got nothing. I said it all the first time. It's not until you have to sit through it that you realize how long it really is. Alright, we're about there. <laughs> not ready. Here we are, last screen of the demo. Destroyer of Heaven. So, time to plunge into the unknown. Th this place is... The strange presences and a feeling of oppression so intense as to make you choke. One can tell that power be powerful beings are fully packed into this area. This is the Mao Castle of the world of the Dark God that the Dark Goddess rules. Or rather, the Dark Goddess Castle. So yeah, Mao castles hold Mao's. So of course, a castle with a Jashin in it is the Jashin Castle. So, I called her Dark Goddess up to now, but to make the Jashin Castle make sense, I guess I'll call her the Jashin from now on. Uh, just mentally translate that. It's like Mao only bigger and eviler. Anyway. The Jashin, Alice Fees, is in the interior of this stratum, although there are a lot of leaders of the demon world on standby here. This is the Jashin Castle. It's like torrents of power swirling around in here. Further, this oppressive sense of the Jashin, although she's further in, to feel the power to this extent. She's not going into any kind of rage out there, she is merely there. All the same, there's a feeling of oppression so great as to stop your breath. My breath is taken away by the sheer might. No, should I be reassured that the Jashin will become our ally? So with that, my role is complete here, cuz I've sa safely guided Alice here. You're bailing on us. Well, the usual behavior, but you don't have to play it up so flippantly. 
so why do you guide Alice in the first place? Just what importance do we Maoles have? Just what importance do we Maoles have to you? The Maoles are switched to the end game, and further are existences that come to chaos. What you say? What's the meaning of that? Ah, Alice, you silly little girl. Now that you said something she's now that something she said has shocked you, she's going to run away. You never learn. So then go and properly meet Joshi and Alice. No loitering on the way, that's no good. Bye bye. Called it. The white rabbit disappeared. The existence of the mouse are switched to the end game. In that case, it's us the we. The existence of the Maos changes the world to chaos. You could say that the White Rabbit was implying that. What exactly was the meaning of that? You are the Mao of the Singularity World. It's sovereign. Would you like to be addressed as Her Majesty, Alice Fees the 16th? Wah, that is a strong scene in the old. She is a Shiva, a top-class Yolma said to exist in the ancient past. I too have only seen them in historical documents. Anyway, I am indeed Alice Fees the 16th. It seems the news of my visit has already been conveyed. Your Majesty and the Destroyer would arrive along with a right white rabbit. We all know this from the Jashin. We welcome you with open hearts, Your Majesty, and we are grateful to accept your resolve to fight together with us. Boy, this girl's painfully formal. Hmm. So then, you may take us to Jashin Alice Fees. Of course, that was my intention. So then, come this way. Uh, hey, Alice, isn't your attitude a bit rude? The Jashin, she's the answer of all, ancestor of all monsters, right? Isn't she far more eminent than a Mao? Eh, you got a point, Luca. In the demo, at points, Alice was just falling over, so, falling over herself to praise her and Saja. Certainly, the Jashin was also the first Mao. To Alice, she must seem as a godlike existence, but still. Luca, I, now, am the person who represents our world. If I exhibit modesty in this role, our world, all of it, will be looked down upon. Further, our relation with the Jashin is, in the end, an alliance. We absolutely can't allow ourselves to fall into servility to her. Ah, uh, very shrewd, Alice. But what if they're falling over yourself on Sasha? The Jashin is, no mistake, someone who knows these principles. She should understand our position and allow, and allow it. Eh. The way she says it feels like we're being set up for a twist. The movements of diplomacy sure are hard, in a lot of ways. I'll just, uh, Huddle up in the back for this. So then, please wait here. The Jashin will be here presently. Very well. Your efforts are appreciated. Well then. Here we are, at an audience with the Jashin. Although she's to be our ally. I'm getting nervous. To think that I might come to have an audience with the Jashin. Thinking how she may appear. My chase chest is racing as if to burst. No, no. I can't get carried away. As the sovereign of our world, I must not slip into an attitude lacking in gravity. Daughter of Mao, Alice Fees the 15th, prior sovereign of the Singularity World, 
Current Sovereign and Model, Alice Fees the Sixteenth. You have come admirably. I am she, Alice Fees. The originary dark taken form, the arcane shin and arcan... The incarnation and ruler of darkness. Sorry, forgot to pronounce words there. You, you are... Ja Jashin Alice Fees. It seemed like the gravity and pressure would crush our whole bodies. An impression that made it hard to breathe, and trembling that gave us goosebumps. She displays no hostility at all, rather, a soft manner. Even like that, the oppression is this bad. If it turned out we would be enemies, how terrifying would she be? Wow, her appearance is so full of majesty. <clears throat> Ahem. I present myself here for the first time. I am Alice Fees the 16th, the Mao of the so-called Singularity World. Sovereign of this world, Jashin Alice Fees. I come to you personally for the purpose of confirming our alliance henceforth. Mm. I am aware your mother too came here and met me like this. Mother? Alice Fees the 15th came here? I didn't think we covered this, but... So then, let us speak of that matter first. According to your awareness, when you were an infant, your mother, the Mao, disappeared suddenly. Yes, that is the case. Afterwards, she could not be found in our searches, and I succeeded to the title of Mao. But in recent years, she reappeared. She forced me into this form, banished me, and returned once more to the Mao's throne. And that series of actions, they were outrageous to the extreme. But even so, there was a reason for them. The very night of the 15th's disappearance, the White Rabbit appeared at her bedside. And the 15th, accompanied by the ra White Rabbit, saw other worlds. Unbelievable. That day, Mother was taken by wh the White Rabbit. Consequently, Mother and the White Rabbit had a secret connection. The 15th was guided by the White Rabbit and saw many other worlds. Other worlds swallowed by chaos, their final days, their perishing. the ending of other worlds. We too, guided by the White Rabbit, were shown the ending of another world. And since we saw that, there's been only one path to take. Then the 15th was guided to me. In the same way as you, she had an audience with me, here. Our views accorded, with not the slightest difference. To it, no matter what, destruction must be avoided. The plan that we made for that purpose is the reunification project. We examined every avenue, but only this could save everyone. Of course, the 15th was in anguish about it. For the project, everyone in her own world had to be massacred. But that, too, was for the sake of saving their souls, though their bodies would be abandoned. As long as the soul remains, we can prepare a body in this world. The 15th fixed her resolve and became an ally of our world. And, to be the cruel slaughterer she had to become, returned to her own world. Mother. But there was a discrepancy in the time here. There appeared a gap between her disappearance and her return. 
When the 15th returned, her grown daughter had inherited the title of Ma'al. But she did not want to entwine that daughter in the cruel project. For that reason, the 15th borrowed the power of the White Rabbit to render you into a powerless form. On top of that, she stole the Ma'al's throne and banished you. Most of that is what the hints had suggested in our journey so far. As expected, Alice's mother didn't want to involve her daughter in that cruel scheme. Now let's uh, set aside the fact that it was an expedient to delay the inevitable murder of said daughter. Unless she herself died, I guess. But where the 15th was distancing her daughter on the one hand, she anticipated her own death. As it stood in the true history, the 15th would be killed by a hero. If that happened, the only one who could carry on after her and realize the project was her daughter, the 16th. Her beloved daughter, whom she wanted to distance from it, in the end, she had to have her take over afterwards. Do you know how that tormented her? Yes, I finally understood, understood her suffering. For that very reason, I'll save the world from destruction. As my mother's daughter and as the 16th Mao. Indeed, yourself as my descendant and the successor of my sworn friend, the 15th. Henceforth, let us face our hardships hand in hand. For this occasion, first. Hmm? Question mark. It goes quiet for a short while. Jashin Alice has fixed her gaze somewhere far in the distance. Jashin. What has happened? The northwest of Grand Noir, is it? It's rather large. Joshin Sama, there's a report from Grand Noir. At a point 120 kilometers northwest, a large scale dimensional crack has appeared. I know, I too sensed it. I shall deal with it immediately. Have the patrols fall back. Yes, sir. They were pretty quick, actually. <laughs> what is it? Just what has happened? You should know already. All the worlds are incurring the corrosion of chaos. And as their histories diverge from the true history, to that extent, the corrosion of chaos becomes more violent. This should be well known. E yes. This world, walking a history where I triumphed in the Great Holy War, is greatly removed from the true history. Yeah, I've thought that through playing this game too. Therefore, the intensification of Chaos's corruption has traced only one course. Now, a dimensional crack has appeared in the Grand Noah region. What? Is such a thing occurring automatically? Oh, this world, too, is also a lamp before the wind. So, a lamp before the wind is a Japanese figure of speech. In a precarious situation, basically. In danger of being extinguished. But there is only one method to check the corrosion. And that is... This is going to be horrifying, isn't it? Fall back! Fall back! The Joshin's Barrier is coming! Retreat! It's a retreat! That's a Kate C. Flow of time! Freeze!
freezing the time of the surrounding region in its entirety. It's true that with this, the corrosion won't spread. And that is certain. At the Alias Temple in our world, this secret art came down and did that. As you assert, the phenomenon you learned in the singularity is in the singularity world is the best response. But to freeze time would require a magic power too vast. Even having the power of a god at long-term hold is absolutely. Just so. I will not last long. Further, it is only a check. It is impossible to eliminate. In the end, it is not but a confinement, huh? As expected, there isn't a fundamental solution. Presently, in our world, there are, are dimensional cracks present in 32 locations. All of them I have frozen time at with my magic power. Th 32 Even with your power as Joshi, that would be... Under present circumstances, it will be three months until my magic power depletes. By that time, we must apply a fundamental solution. But we are in the process of preparing the countermeasure for that. Building up our research, we have spotted a light at the end of the tunnel. As we would expect of the Jashin, that countermeasure, what sort of thing is it? My apologies, but it is secret for now. I shall only say, the reunification project is its linchpin. Hmm. If you say so, Jashin, we must believe you. A secret plan she can't reveal to us yet. We can't wring this out of her without justification. Presently, our greatest obstacle is the military of the Otherworld commanded by the Goddess. Called Heaven. It is a world filled with arrogance and deception. Their salvation plan and our salvation plan cannot coexist. It is inevitable that one will be destroyed and the other one will remain. As a consequence, the Second Holy War is unavoidable. Our world, joining hands with you, must break the forces of heaven. Yes, of course, we are resolved to do this. So then, let us ask what the specific plan is here. In fighting with heaven, we have suffered a great disadvantage. The goddess's military can use nearly unrestricted space-time mobility. In comparison, our space-time transfer, te transfer techniques are far behind. As with the Lilith sisters, a one-way teleport through use of the s their souls is the most we can do. Even Tamamo, who excels the most in magic technique in this world, can do no more than temporarily transfer her real body for a few mi mere few minutes. On the other hand, Heaven can appear and return freely with space-time teleports. Truly, this is a broad disadvantage that cannot be denied. Even in the fight at the Ma'ol Castle, Heaven teleported a strike force in. Further, though, went so far as to materialize Raphaela's true body. Just why is there such a gap in technique? How did Heaven get this advanced spice time transfer technique? Heaven possesses a core that doesn't exist in this world. All the discrepancy occurred because of that. It just says core here. What kind of core? Who knows? But that gap is now to be closed, is it not? With your power, destroyer of worlds, Luca. Me? Me? 
you hold the ability to open space-time doors. Consequently, heaven, which we could not reach before, can now be invaded. However, Luca's power is just that, opening doors to other worlds. He shouldn't be able to transport a military-scale number of people. Well, I don't know, the pocket Mao castle could hold a lot. Even trying to pass the group through a little at a time, because the route is so narrow, they'll crush us in ambush. Just so. Therefore, we will not dispatch our military to heaven. There is no other option but to infiltrate with a small-scale elite force and engage in guerrilla warfare. Hmm, well, I predicted as much. You expect us to take that role, don't you? Just so. And it is settled. Only you can accomplish this. We'll infiltrate heaven? Yeah, keep up, Luca. Naturally, we will support you to the greatest extent we can. To us, we are staking our fate on this single battle, after all. First, we shall have our elites accompany you. Lilith sisters. Ah, uh, what? They're dead in this world. Yes, we are here. Oh, you guys, you made it out safely. And also teleported worlds, which has been established you can't do. But whatever. We did, somehow. But the Mao castle was occupied by the heavenly forces. Your underlings are scattered. Most of them withdrew, but I don't know what happened to the Shiten Mao. Tamamo, Hamla Elma, and El Betier. The three of them distracted them as a lure to allow your force to escape. The opponents were Raphaela, three Seraphim, and several artificial Yoma. After that all out attack, we can't know anything about their whereabouts. That is truly a dis desperate situation. But I believe in them. They are surely surviving. Come to think of it, how about Son Goku, Son Goku, and the dumb bird and cat? They turned from an enemy side and lent their powers to us, it seemed. It seems like behind us they got whooped real bad. We didn't have the leeway to save them, you know. taken captive or at worst losing their lives. I hope that they are safe. Lilith, Asta Toro, Morgan, you may enter the control of the 16th and of Luca. There's a typo in Astaroth's name here. Let's pretend it's Alice Fee's pet name for her or something. As you wish. So, that's how it is. From here on, we're companions. <laughs> it's a pleasure to join you. Yes, it's heartening to have you with us on our journey. Unlike how we were comrades before, provisionally, from here on, we're real comrades. Let's give it our all together. And that power stolen by the XX class Apotosis has recovered as well. Now I can lash out in proper form. That's right. She was nominally depowered for a while there. Right. We're pleased to have you on the team from now on. Q! Q! <laughs> Were you lonely while I was gone? You're such a little cutie. Q! Q! Yes, she is a good girl. Oh, my party's full again. Hmm. Let's keep Morgan, Toss, 
Keep Alistair up. Toss Fernandez. Keep Lilith's toss. Aria Lamia. I'll probably fix up my party off screen as well. Anyway, the three little sisters have joined our party. And we're not going to question how they can't travel to and fro between worlds. No? Okay, whatever. Next then, Tamamo, present yourself before us. Whatever you desire, Jashin sama. So, Maoho and Luca, we meet in the flesh for the first time. Tamamo, thanks for taking care of us in Grand Gold. I guess calling her out straight for, you know, trying to kill us would be a breach of etiquette. Passive aggressive barbs? Not so much. That ruckus too was to make history run the line of the true history. It wasn't that I was engaged in villainy because I like it. Yeah, I remember that part of the true history where Fox Girl, demigod from another dimension, killed the hero in Mao. I don't know how it slipped my mind until you mentioned it just now. In spite of that, it very much seemed like you were enjoying it. Gee, <laughs> you're not wrong. But you've resolved that quarrel to be run water under the bridge, have you not? Being so resolved, you've taken the Jashin side. Isn't it too late now to say that you're displeased with my way of doing things? I am displeased. But I will accept it. We're saving the world. We can't be picky about the means. Tamamo, cease your agitations. As we covered previously, I'm tasking you with supporting the 16th. As you know, of the six dance sisters, only I can make contact with other worlds. Uh, BS. Sasha did it too. It wasn't even that long ago. Uh, maybe you're better at it, but you're not the only one. <clears throat> As I tested in your ground gold, I can extend my magic to you. As you infiltrate heaven, it will be a great help, won't it? Hmm. Your conquest of grand gold was an experiment before the fact, huh? Anyway, we are much obliged. You may entrust yourselves to my care. I, the Jashin's close confidant, will assist you with all my power. Then, what we do next? As we've said, we have no techniques for teleporting to heaven. Therefore, we will have you reach heaven through the Tartarus. A Tartarus that connected to heaven. Could you mean Inesta? Just so. That Tartarus itself is the path connecting to heaven. As I recall, it's a huge Tartarus in the middle of a lake. Without a way to enter it, we set it aside, didn't we? On that topic, may it please you for me to speak? After a fashion, it seems possible for us to enter Estes Tartarus. Hmm. By what means? Queen Gran Noah was exploring ways to enter it. In that pursuit, she has at last pulled something together. But even saying that, it is reckless. It, it is to ride a large-scale steamship into the Tartarus. It is reckless and dangerous, but... We accept the danger. If a way is open, there is nothing but to go. It seems we'll be able to enter Esta Tartarus in this way. <laughs> Let's give thanks to Queen Gran Noa. And through Esta Tartarus, wait heaven. The world where the goddess Ilias reigns. I was pulled into it one time before. 
It seems the means are settled. After you've infiltrated heaven, Tamamo will carry our various secret plans to you. <laughs> you may rest easy as you proceed. With my direction, let us raise a ruckus in heaven. The same as the Tamamo whom I trust, you must be appropriate, saga appropriately sagacious. We have high expectations of your abilities. As of now, we cannot offer any greater assistance. But if the war situation shifts, we shall send further reinforcements. Saja, for instance, is frantic with trying to acquire space-time teleport skills. Although she trails me, she should shortly be able to teleport her true body for a few minutes' time. Further, we've got our trump card. Once it is completed, heaven will be all at once! We have such prospects, but we still need time. But Helios will not sit quietly and wait for them. Y'all, oh, was Tamamo about to say something spoilery? He. If our front lines are beaten by Ilias, a great invasion by heaven, who exceeds us in transportation technique, will be unavoidable. Before that occurs, your activity will be necessary. If you can cause the fall of a city or two in enemy territory, heaven's mobilization will weaken. Okay, realistically, guerrilla forces don't topple cities. It's more of a war attrition thing. But your plan sounds cool, so let's do it. Well, we understand what we must do. We'll infiltrate, infiltrate enemy territory in small number and rampage the Ethereum to our utmost. In the end, it's the same as up to now. This time, my club will roar in heaven. Let's forget that once I was going to be a priestess of the goddess. Yeah. Q, Q. With this, the matters are settled. We will be the vanguard storming into Henver. Then, our audience is finished. But, 16th, I have something that your mother entrusted to me. From mother? Just what is it? Through the 15th schemes, your power was stolen, and your form made small. Yeah, it's been like this so long it's easy to forget. That stolen power, the 15th entrusted it to me. What? The 15th anticipated that this sort of a circumstances could come about. She said, should she die, to return to her daughter. In the Joshin's hand, a dark aura condenses. That is Alice's original power. In place of your mother, I return your power to you. Come, claim your true power once more. In my body, the power! Indeed, I've returned to my original form. Eh, I kind of don't want to get used to another form. I want to change it back. This is your true form. Added to my original power, there is the experience built up during the fierce battles I've fought while disempowered. I now am far stronger than before, than before my power was stolen. Alright, if you're so happy, I'll allow the new form. But just because you're happy. And Mao, you may take this. It is a memento of your mother. It's a job change or race change item. I'm calling it. Receive one bloody rose. What? This is mother's favorite sword. No 
I feel like I've already collected some of these. Like, uh, in the Labyrinth of Chaos, maybe? It is only suitable that you take it. Go, with the soul of your great predecessor beside you. I thank you, your majesty, Halisphys. With this, I can fight as alongside my mother. And, destroyer of worlds, Luca. For you, I bestow upon you the baptism of darkness. Yeah, these baptism things. They were kind of a plot point. Easy to forget about that one, too. Baptism of darkness? Is it okay for me to receive that? Baptism of darkness. Somehow the sound of it evokes a real evil feeling. If I accept it lightly, I won't lose my spirit or anything, will I? Fret not. It is not a thing to taint your heart with darkness. I am merely bestowing a power that was lost to your world. May you accept my baptism with certainty. This is... Luca became a hero of darkness. This is the power of darkness. And I shall entrust you a condensed ball of my power. If you have this, you can take high-class jobs of hero and of war of darkness. Received one, Jashin's darkness. Ah, job change item, I called it. Sort of. Further, those classes higher than the highest. The sealed jobs. I absolve you from their sealing. Received one sealed ball of darkness. This is a sealed job? A number of jobs that were sealed for using, in part, the power of chaos. But by my hand, several of their seals are absolved. You should be qualified to take the sealed jobs of the mage type, but this is the limit of what I can bestow now. Yes, thank you very much. I became a hero of darkness, and a portion of the sealed jobs were resolved. Afterwards, let's confirm these jobs at the Temple of Elias. Destroyer of Worlds, Luca. Carrying that power in your hands, fight with the goddess Elias. I am grateful, but... Um... Why am I being called Destroyer of Worlds? That is... We said that the 15th, accompanied by the White Rabbit, saw many other worlds, yes? Amongst them, the 15th saw visions of future possibilities. One which she saw was you, transformed into a destroyer. Gotcha. Luca transformed you into a small, fast warship of light and armament, similar, smaller than a cruiser, but bigger than a freaker makes perfect sense. You bore tremendous power and destroyed many other worlds. In doing that, you saved our world. Destroying other worlds to save this world? Just what is that about? No way. I couldn't do such a thing as go destroying worlds. Now, of course, you still don't have the power to do that. You are missing something. Now, I don't think Luca's objection is his lack of power, Josh Eden. <clears throat> you laid hand on the eight power lines and arrived as a destroyer of worlds. That is among the things the White Rabbit reportedly said. The eight power lines? Just what is that? Even in heaven, your existence is a critical key of sorts. Just what role they meant for you, even I do not know. 
that could be heard as deflecting the heart of the matter, Jashin Sama. Why would Luca's acts of destruction save this world? In the end, it was a possible future revealed in a vision. Even I cannot say with certainty. What is certain is that that future exists. Therefore, we have no other option but to rely on you. How wouldn't it? No way. The battle with the goddess will guide you to your destiny. That is the premonition that I have. Destroyer of worlds. Am I really going to reach such a future? Well, th let that be well. Although that story is important, we're in a situation where there are before us tasks that we must do. But, Luca, this isn't about you. You're just the hero. Desist from worrying because there are still things you don't understand. If you don't like your destiny, then kick it away. <laughs> is that so? Yeah, that's right. So then, Luca, let's march into the goddess Elis's world. To do that, first we need to pass through Estes Tartarus. All right, let's go. Q, Q, Q. It seems that your fighting spirit is in good form. So then, we are counting on you over there. 16th, and destroyer Luca. Let us together seize victory and the future. Jashin Alice Fees disappears. At the same time, the intense oppression lifts. Whew, that was such a pressure. Fit to crush the breath right out of you. To exert such pressure simply by being there. It's just what you would expect of the Jashin. And still, it's been so long since we've been back in hell. Hey, hey, why don't we return to San Elia and relax? Since we're here at long last, let's show Luca and the gang all of Hell's hotspots. Gold's botanical gardens are... Nah, they have a bad image. How about Gran Noah's underwater city? It's really pretty. Morgan, we're not tourists. The fate of the world. Blah, 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 etc. Uh, but never change, Morgan, you stupid, violent idiot. Morgan, we don't have spare time for sightseeing. Have you forgotten that we have a mission? I am sorry. Just a reminder, this is Lilith displeased. We've never seen Lilith pissed off, but Morgan has, and her instant capitulation here tells us all we need to know about how Lilith is when she is pissed. But we've got time to meet the people in the Jashin castle, right? We haven't seen their faces in so long. I don't mind, but keep it moderate. After some light conversation with the locals, we're heading for Esta immediately. But how do we return to our world? We got the White Rabbit to send us to this world, but... Recall what has happened before. If we have Luca, we can return using teleport items and magic. <laughs> yeah, Sonia had to ask the question, but it's for the player. We're about to get free reign to roam around a little, but there's no path back. So the player needs to be reminded. Isn't that right, Luca? Eh? Yeah, we can use teleport items and magic. It's all right, I was totally listening. I rather thought you had your head in the clouds, though. Is that... sorry. I could change into a person who destroys worlds. I just can't get that thought out of my head. But I can't dwell on that constantly right now. After all, we're marching into our enemy's home territory. Heaven. So then, let's head for Esta. Yeah! Q, 
cute, cute. That's right, I've prepared some support resources for you. Since you're in the castle, you should come and receive them. I also advise that you go and greet the others here. You can get useful resources and information. I see. How about we hear out the people on this floor? The people positioned around here are all Hell's toughest fighters. To casually wander about greeting them makes me feel a bit awkward, but... Henceforth, they are our comrades in fighting against heaven or Heaven's armies. As much as possible, let's hear what everyone has to say. And when we're done talking, we head to Esta. We pass through the Tartarus and storm into heaven. Oh, we got control back. I feel like I just read close to 300 text messages in a row. What an exposition dump. I hope that's enough for a while, but that cutscene was long enough and I'll end the first video of part 3 here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.